All right. Believe it or not, we are live at 11.05, I think, somewhere in there. We decided like a few minutes ago to do a live at 11.05. And so Josh had to go around and try to get find the stuff and start it up. And, and I told you all last time we did what we do. it. last one we did was six months ago. And we had a good following and we are really appreciate it. We had just got so, so busy. Last year was an awesome year. Thanks to everybody. We had a record year. And uh, we're moving ahead. I think we're going to try to do our live stuff again. And we'll do some more videos, but I'm going to do it a little bit different way because we never followed up good enough to show everybody the whole project going through. So I know that could be frustrating because I actually started watching other people's videos oh, a month or two ago. It would be nice when you're watching it if you see the whole process. I see the process because I'm here every day, but I only kind of relate with you guys for a couple minutes and every day. And so we'll, we'll get video, we'll capture it, and we're going to try to put an IT guy on this year. That's kind of a goal for the company. So we're doing that. Big things here at Spirit. I mean, we got, what do you think, Josh? Big things? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Got a new, new. we bought the property next door, so we got two new buildings. We're moving to fiberglass shop. So we're going to do a quick shop walkthrough. And just uh, in the comments, you can leave us what, what you'd like to see us do on the video side of things. Uh, and again, we're not a drama show, don't want to be a drama show. We've had offers to be a drama show, not our thing. We would just like to help you accomplish your dream. That's what we do at Spirit here. I'm just at my desk here. I got a couple desks. Every desk seems to have a little different purpose. This is my uh, kind of designing desk, okay? So we're going through some of our old designs, some of our new designs, cleaning everything up, getting it ready. And something we used to, do we even give these out anymore? No, because they're online. Oh, they're online? Yep. So if you get, but this is for the T. So this is like an assembly manual. I found this and I forgot we even do this. So I'm going to tighten this up a little bit. And this will help. And uh, actually, corporate sent me a book from somebody else that, what was it, Total Performance is old. Yeah. Old manual. So I'm gonna, I haven't looked at that, but I'm going to look at that and see how they do it. And, and uh, maybe incorporate some of their ideas. And I have talked for years about doing a video start to finish of a turnkey tea bucket with an instruction manual almost like a book and selling that on Amazon or something with you know you could get a refund up for it if you bought the kit but do a super comprehensive something like uh, what was that Chester or something build a tea bucket for three thousand dollars or something I mean that book is still being redone at uh, um, T bucket, what's this? T bucket plans. T bucket plans. You go to tbucketplan.com, you can probably still get that. So anyway, let's just do a quick tour of the shop. And again, excuse the mess. We are tearing stuff down, expanding, and moving our fiberglass shop over to a, a new facility. That's just well, we got a seven-acre piece now, so it's just like right around the corner. But it's we're excited. We're big time excited. Machine shop. Just the basic. Here's the 34 going somewhere. So this is going to have rumble seats. This is a turnkey 34. This is an exciting project. And if we uh, if we get if we do this one, I, I want to document it. Um, this is a Model A, but we've got a different fenders for it and everything. And I think we're going to do some some little different stuff. So that may be a surprise. This is a really nice independent front suspension setup. Um, it's going to get a 9 inch behind it. This is our jig for a Model A. Here's another one coming together. Jig for 23, jig for 27. That wall is coming down. It's not even a wall, it's just plywood in front of a bunch of shelves. And I'll show you the side of that. That's where all the molds used to be. There were so many molds in there you couldn't even move. It was like a Chinese puzzle where you had to move this one to this one to this one to get even get something out of there. Eddie's pretty excited. This is old fast Eddie's department. We added him a door so we can slide that open and he can actually put a car into his upholstery department. Before he had to work out there and it was inconvenient, so he can put one in here, but the, we're doing the upholstery. We're really trying to tighten that up and build molds and, and I don't we haven't done it yet, but we're gonna standardize our our upholstery kits a little bit more rather than having so many different custom ones so that um, 
you know, give you plenty of choices, give you what you want, and then we can always do custom, but we'll have our standards, and we're really w working towards that. A um, couple new toys. We didn't have a an iron worker. This is new this year. But we get, uh, and we're going to go into brackets. Are we gonna, we're going to make a real move towards brackets, yes. aren't we? So we've got a CNC plast table, and we've really kind of moved away from our roots. Our roots was helping the guy just in his garage. Who, I think our motto was kind of a hot rod at a price you can afford. And we've moved our whole thing now to uh, it's about the experience, and we don't build cars, we build dreams. So we, we do a lot more um, bigger cars and turnkey cars than we did in the very beginning. But we want to get back to our roots at the same time. Uh, lots of frames ready to go out. This is kind of the assembly area. And again, we're... Excuse the mess. We are in the middle of, of trying to get, get moved to the new building. And this will be a lot easier. We moved how many times? Three times in the course of about eight years. Mm -hmm. To completely different facilities. And we kept production going while we were moving. And... When we moved from Mountain Home to Flippin, that's three towns over, so it was it was a pretty significant move. But this is nice. This is we put a back door in now. We didn't have that before. We don't have to load out the back. And uh, that's a uh, 32 or five window. That's a that'll be a turnkey. 23. There's another. I don't think that's turnkey. We just assemble that. Just assemble it. So we can we can do whatever you want. We can. Paint the chassis, assemble it, run brake lines, just parts and pieces, whatever, whatever it is you What want. is this? Huh? What is this? Oh, it's our Hearst trailer. They've surely seen this, haven't we? I don't think so. Never? Nope. Okay, so we had a couple of these. That, they're pretty cool. This one don't get the TVs and everything, but um, the last one, we just did one last month. Mm -hmm. So it gets the TV in here behind the glass, and it gets cut, and then all this stuff, they, there's like a rack that for the casket there. So they can do the memorials in the front. And then here, so this is all glass. The casket goes in there. And I mean, it gets blinged out. It's, it's awesome. It gets blinged out with big brass thingy here and here and here. And uh, the door in the back. So you can pull it with a hot rod car. You can pull it with a trike or whatever. So we, we make these for uh, Rosewood. Was it called? Rosewood Classic? Classic? They got some really cool stuff. I talked to them. Anybody that knows me very well and, and watched these videos, you really know I'm a wannabe farmer. And I've got me a herd of dairy goats and stuff like that. So I'm actually going to do the goat shows this year, believe it or not. So I'm thinking, and uh, I just got, I bought from Eddie. Eddie's always wheeling and dealing. A 58 Chevy truck. So we're going to paint that thing red. I want to get one of these, paint it red, lower it a little bit, put some bars, make this look like a circus wagon. So when I show up to the goat show, they're going to know I'm there. I'm going to have to get the old black hat out. You haven't seen me on the show circuit for years, but... I used to have my cowboy hat. That's about the only thing that makes you difference, unless you're in Texas, then you then you're with the crowd. But okay, so this used to be a wall with uh, shelving like that one, and there was so many moles in there you could not even move. So what we've done, we've kind of organized it. Um, one of the buildings we got, we're just using for a storage building for now. So we put a lot of the moles that we don't use every day over there. And it doesn't take long. We've already got, we're working on cars over here. Everybody's, we do 11.05 at lunchtime. That way it's a little quieter here. Here's uh, here's our spray booth. There's a couple cars in there now. He's just finishing up. We're just putting them in primer to go. Um, kind of looking forward to, so are, are we on, have we lost the signal yet? Or it's getting good? low here and there, but it's getting low. So if you lose us, you know. So we're gonna put a wall here, floor to ceiling. And that's going to be our for real parts and shipping area, and we'll do it that way. Right now, it's been kind of demolding and cleaning up and doing. So we're going to make that into a clean room with just parts, and that way we can move everything out of our other parts room. And what are we going to use that for? Are you yeah. going to have a giant office with a pool Maybe. table now? Or? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> foosball table. Got my old. I can't play foosball anymore. So this, it had a big spray booth right there for our gel booth. Took that down. We've already got that moved to the other building. We're still chopping and doing here. We're not going to move the glass shop until the other facility is like we have a clean slate and we're going to make it like the way we want it. We're going to move into back forming this year, our closed mold system, um, 
overall this industry is a little bit behind where it could be, so we want to be leading edge on the, on the technology of, of building of parts. We, you know, not that we don't build a quality part, and a lot of other people build really quality cars too, but it can go to another level and we don't need to design new technology to do that. We just need to implement what's already out there. So we've got a, man, what do we got, like a 25 horse vacuum pump? Yeah. And so I'm learning how to do that. It's a new process, but it will make things faster and cleaner. So so when, when this moves, what's there? You didn't say that. Oh, this uh, will be the body shop. I am excited. Yeah, so we're gonna have this whole thing will be a body shop, and I'm gonna we got a wood shop that's kind of here, a little over there, a little over there. So I can put my wood shop over there in that corner because we do um, we do use a lot of wood. I mean, more than you would think. Everything is steel structured, framed, and stuff like that. But there's there's times when I do that, and you know, someday, honestly, I really want to do this. If we took the 34. I whack the cowl, I do, I want to build a Woody. I mean, if it's been my personal desire, and I, there's a couple companies out there do it, there. so who knows, maybe someday we'll do that. i got to sell corporate on that idea. But, uh, here's the mold for that, that Hearst trailer. I think we got another one of these to do. I, I don't, I'm not sure. So, are you going to lose us, or can we? I don't do know. I can probably. Okay, it's going to get close. So we got a C cab that's fixing to go to uh, go to upholstery. But this is our body shop, and it's not been really big. So we're kind of you can see it's closer. So what we're going to be able to do is in the other facility, it's pretty nice. It's what 7,500, 7,800 yep, 70, square feet. 75. Will be just our fiberglass shop, and we're not going to do no cutting, no grinding over there. It'll come into here. We can cut and grind and do and get everything cleaned up from the fiberglass. I'm going to take that spray booth and turn it into a uh, sandblasting booth. Um, this will be the body shop. I don't know, unless you all can't tell, I'm pretty excited about the new year. It's, it's looking bright. Um, things are good. Things are pretty, I mean, think about it. Things are pretty good out there. Um, so I'm expecting a good year. And we're blessed. We're blessed no matter what. And I usually ended these things with, I don't have my little pocket Bible. What's a good one? Let's move in there so we can get, make sure we get. Make sure we get it. Yeah. Walls coming down. This will all move and be uh, welding. So we're going to move. We got a we got a jig for a 44. That we don't even do that. We got a 32 chassis. We got a 34 chassis. So we got to move and do all that kind of stuff. So as it gets together, let us know what you want to see in the in the comments. And we're probably going to do a YouTube live. Is that what the direction we want to go? Yes, we will be doing a live on that. Model A Roadster right there later today on our product preview. Oh yeah, okay, we'll do a live product preview. Yep. Then you can upload that below that to YouTube. Yeah. You now, so what? What's coming to mind? We're in a culture that ain't the same as when I when I grew up. There's a proverb that talks about a good name is worth more than silver and gold. Sometimes we worry so much about stuff, so much about like let's make money in the corporate world, in the in the religious world, everywhere. It's like, man, where's the integrity anymore? We want to trash talk each other. We want to. The Republicans would like to see all the Democrats die, and all the Democrats would like to see the Republicans die. And I don't know where we're all in the middle of this. Man, this is where America. This is America. America is a great place to live. The goats are doing good. I look out into the field, everybody's happy. We're building hot rod cars. So we really want to help you build your dream. So that's, that's our goal today. But the dream is not about stuff. The dream is about where you get when you're all done with, with this, this game called life. And a good name is worth way more than leaving a pile of money to your grandkids or whoever gets it afterwards. So that's my word for today. That's the Live at 11.05. And don't expect another one tomorrow, but we may start doing some sort of a, 
a daily program and again I really want to do a more structured this is the entire project so we'll have to do that on video and edit it and uh, Josh doesn't have time so we really need to have a an IT guy for that so anyway that's it for today